Maybe that so is true. Put it, put a new one there and just, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's nine. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Time to see it in action. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna do five and two. Woo. Nothing from shutting it off, okay. Two. Or two and seven. Berlin. Okay. Let's say um three plus three. All right. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Din. Four plus four. <laughs> oh, that one is cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much more interesting than I thought. Five and five. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Did you hear that last part? Hold on, oh, let me replay that. We'll hear the <laughs> five. And then listen to the reset. Just a little bit. Like, a lot of them don't make noise on reset, I thought. Six and yeah. six. Ooh, I love how that and ended on the low note there. I don't know. There's something, like, really cool about all these. <laughs> Seven and seven. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's cool. Why is this so exciting? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right, hey gamers. Uh, so I made a I made a bit of a Minecraft calculator, right? I I spent uh, maybe. I don't know, maybe five or six hours on this. Maybe more than that. Also, that was my Discord bloop. Ignore that. So anyways, I'm going to run through exactly how it works real quick and then um, show it off a little bit. Um, so first off, here's the inputs. We got one through seven because um, I didn't want to make four bits. Like in binary, one, one, one is seven. And to go past that to 8, I'd have to have another bit, and I figured that'd probably be hard, because I'd have to get even more uh, stuff. It'd just be hard. I don't know. I figured 1 through 7 is enough to test with. So anyways, right. So now, let me show you what happens if you hit one of these buttons. So, um, let's say number 3, for example. It's 0, 1, 1 in binary, right? So if you were to hit that button, it would turn off this torch. Also, I'm going to go through this pretending like you actually know a fair amount about redstone. Anyways, so it turns off this torch, which turns on these two torches, and then this down here is representative of the binary 0, 1, 1, because, you know, these three wires, two are on on the right. Anyways, and then it shuts back off. So these two signals are taken to the middle. So, okay. This is like the memory. Um, there's three uh, pieces here, and they go left and right. Like you see, basically this, I store two numbers. I can store a number in this pink like tower, and then I can store a number in this little purple tower here. Um, and each number can be three bits. This represents the first bit, second bit, and the third bit. And when I say first, sec third, I mean first on the right, second in the middle, and then third on the left, which is confusing, but whatever. Um, anyways, so like, right, so with the number three, it's zero, one, one. So um, it lights up, it doesn't light up this zero, and then lights up these two for the ones. And they go in, light up the middle, 
chunk of the, uh, the little donut tower here and the top chunk. Um, and so, yeah, and so if the pistons are extended, then the, the pulse can go across this into here. I'll go ahead and um, turn that one on. So you see 0, 1, 1 with the offs and ons. Now, let's say I wanted to save this number as my first number, as the pink, save it in the pink tower. So I'm going to flip this lever here, and these pistons go across. And now this signal is oh, able to cross into here. And this is a, uh, I don't know what you call this little circuit thingy. It's one of these where you step on one side and, or you step on one side and it flips it, but then it won't affect it again until you reset it with the other side. Um, anyways, so that's how like the memory works, right? And then I can turn this off and actually let me reset this. Now, for example, I'll turn this on and I'll store um, a five, which is 101. So now we'll look at the purple tower. We'll see 101, right? And you're gonna hear no blocks every time I do stuff because um, I was goofing around and thought it'd be fun. Anyways, so there's how I save the numbers. Also, that one was um, my Discord bloop tube. Here's how the math is done. These represent so each of these levers, this is the first spot, the one spot in binary. This is the two spot, and this is the four spot. And, um, you know, they continue on like that afterwards. So, like, of the first two numbers, if we get it XORs, they're, um, they're one spot. And if we get yes from the XOR, then we know that, yes, we have a 1 in the 1 spot. Um, if we get a no from the XOR, then we know we don't have a 1. It also ands them. And if it ands them, and it gets a yes, then it passes on over to the next one. Now I'll cover how this next one works, I guess. So I'm going to shut these off first. So this XORs, the, so we have a 2 and a 2, right? XORM. And then it passes on. So this so far says, yes, we're going to keep a 2 in the 2 spot. And then, um, like, let's say, hold on. I'm going to clear the time and the weather at once with the amazing technology of a bed. All right. And I'm only doing one take. That's how lazy I am. So, right. So this goes all the way through and says, yes, we have a 2 in the 2 spot, because we just, that's what this is, a 2 in the 2 spot. Now let's say we have two 2s in the 2 spot, trying to add up. They no longer XOR, but instead they AND over to the next one. Now, let's say we, uh, we have two 1s, and they're coming over into our 2 spot. They go, boom, there's a 2. But now let's say our 2s, they XORed and they said, yes, we keep a two and we have a two coming in from the ones place. So those XOR on each other. And since we're carrying over to the fours at this point, it won't light up, but the and up here will. So if either of these ands light up, we move on to the next one. And fours are done mirrored as twos were. And then here's it says eights because that's, you know, if this were to pass on, like this passes on to fours, this passes on to eights. Anyways, there's how the math works, right? So, of course, I had to do it in the most, um, like, it's in a big scribble here because my memory thingy was up and down and I, like, didn't think about doing it in a smart way. I just decided I'd start doing it. So, here's the XOR from the first numbers. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, like, untangle this all right now, like, to go through it. Um, but I'm going to reset my numbers. The reset goes up here, and um, it basically does this, where it hits this here. Or, like, let's say you got in a number in the tower, and each 
bit is going to be like this if it's on. Then the reset does this to every single one where it undoes all of them. And if they weren't on, it doesn't matter because it'll it's not going to mess anything up. So yeah, the XOR, that's all it does. It hits this one, or er, sorry, the reset, that's what it does. hits the pink tower and the purple tower. So now, the math happens, right? And um, the outputs come to here. And so these torches here are going to represent the binary of the number that we've added. And the 1's place, the 2's place, 4's place, and now the 8's place. Um, so now we are going to be into 4 bits. So now let's say... Um, I can also collect both the pink and the purple. I can fill both the memories at once if I have both of these on. And let's say I hit, uh, I don't know, any number. So I'll hit five. <coughs> both towers are gonna be on, off, on, and on, off, on. <coughs> Excuse me. So then over here, so five plus five is 10. So we have a two and an eight. Okay, so then what I wanted to do is convert these into the decimal equivalents, you know, of 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 14, because our highest numbers over here are 7, so the highest we'd ever get is 14. So, my first thought of doing that, let me demonstrate with the number 3, adding, well, just translating 3 from binary to decimal. There we go. So I wiped the memory first, and then I opened only one, and I put in a three. There's the display. Um, so as you can see, this this is the three spot. This torch shut off um, because I got a three. And we can see the one and the two here. They go over, and they shut these two torches off. So basically, I set it up so that, you know, a 1 and a 2 in binary, like that's how we get the 3 in decimal, right? Like that's how it does, happens. Anyways, that's why these two have a torches. Problem is, I can't just do that, otherwise it also would turn off this and this one because a 2 is here, and all it has is the 2, so it shuts off this torch. This redstone underneath would shut off. And same with the 1. This would, this is off, so this redstone underneath here, this line, this would be off. So it would think that this is a 3, a 2, and a 1, which doesn't work out for me. So what I did is not only did these have to shut off from the from like these two being on, these two lines, but these two lines being off, all the lines get inverted underneath, and the torches get inverted so that 3 is now the only combination where both Okay, so these two lines being on and these two lines being off can only mean three to us because that's one plus two. So I, I have to show not only these two being on, but I also have to show which ones are supposed to be off. So that's what this down here is basically saying. So like that's how the ones over here, we still have this on and the twos over here still has this on. That's how these are still lit up and so that's how I know or that's how this thing knows that um, it's three and not also two and one. So at this point, we've converted it to decimal. You can see all these on torches and the one off that shows that we have a three. Now, this three, we wanted to I wanted to display it on the board here as a three. So what I did is I lit up the, each of the different parts of this here, and like each one of these has its own little wire and they're all kind of in a mess just because that's how I did it. I'm not trying to save space on this. Like this is fairly compact because otherwise it'd be ridiculous. It just makes sense to do it that way. But this other stuff was just kind of whatever. Anyways, each of these has a line and the three, we get our three. This up here shuts off in order to turn these on. This represents the very top line of the three. This represents the right top right side of it uh, this is the middle this is the bottom right and that's the bottom so like each of those torches is this 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 and that's how we know and then for 10 through 14 um, I have one extra torch on the end because um, this could only reach out 14 bits or 14 lines of redstone 
14, what do you call them? Dusts? Redstone dusts, I guess, before the signal runs out. So I could have re put it repeater and then like continued this same pattern, but I decided I'd just stick a torch on the end. Um, anyways, this represents basically um, right here. It just makes a one on the left side of the screen. Let me show, um, I'm gonna clear the memory on the two things, and then I'm gonna add five into both of them because these are both open. And after a moment of maths, it comes up with 10. So yeah, in any case, we're either gonna have nothing lit up on this left side or we have a one. And so I, did, I decided they'll just be controlled by the same line here. And that line turns on with the 10 through 14. I think that makes sense. And then finally I decided I'd go ahead and throw note blocks all over it so that while it's calculating, because it flashes through a bunch of numbers, um, it'd be fun to uh, to hear different notes. And the notes are basically, I don't know what the lowest like default noise from the note block, like, I don't know what note that is. I think, I think it was supposed to be like a F, F sharp or G or something like that. I don't know. I used to use note blocks more and I looked that up. But anyways, um, each note block represents a note in a major scale. I'm not sure which major scale, but this major scale, starting with that. Oop, I mean with that. And so, yeah. Now if I add two numbers, for some reason I found adding two and five, it goes through a lot of random stuff on its route to calculating my number. So I'll go ahead and do that and you'll get to hear all the noises, you, like you saw at the beginning of the video. Two and five. Oh, no, it was two and seven, my bad. My bad gamers. So I reset it. Two, flip, flip, seven. Yeah, anyways. That's about it. I'm really proud of this. More proud than I should be. Um, it was, for some reason, really satisfying once I hooked the note blocks up and just started like adding random numbers. It was just really fun to hear the dumb noises. Um, I really liked my vertical memory dealio here, although it's honestly more problematic than anything else because it caused the um, actual addition to be like this big maze here but um yeah this was cool I liked it and I liked um this here with the pistons the way this is kind of like a little square and this is a square here and this is a square or this I don't know whole thing was satisfying oh and then here I used to have at first I had pistons pushing out blocks for each of the spots but then it was, it didn't look as nice and I decided I'd use the glowstone lamp. So I went ahead and set up here. I was like, hmm, how does glowstone lamps light up? So I did this and then this and it doesn't work. So whatever, who cares? So yeah, that's the end of the video. I don't remember what the heck this was supposed to be. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope this helped. If someone for some reason found this and wanted to make a calculator in Minecraft that adds numbers. Actually, I'll go ahead and um, show the how to make the the XOR slash AND machine. So you take, let's say here's your inputs. Uh, hold on. Here's your inputs. Um, doot doot, right. And what you do is you make these like a little equal sign, then you go up one block in the middle, like that, and then redstone onto, wait, that's a lie, torches onto here and here, torches here and here, torch here, redstone here, now we have um, a uh, an XOR, so if I were to start one input, wait, I'm missing something. Oh, I know what it is. 
something like this. There we go. Right, it's an X because it's an XOR. Isn't that awesome? There. Here's a good spot to pause the video if you wanted to make this. Um, but yeah, there's one input, there's two, shows the shutting off. And then to add the AND onto it also, you put a block on top of this torch and torch at the size of that block. And then um, you put redstone here and this torch will light up for ANDs. So I'll go ahead and put a lamp up here too. So we'll see the XOR. There's one for the one input, two inputs. It, yeah, it fizzles and then you get the AND. Um, that's the gist of it. For some reason, I really want to just keep rambling, but that's everything. Make sure to rate the video, comment the video. Bye.